Today we're gonna try doing one of those fancy like gradient paintings with like a heart in the middle. It's called hard painting. Um, so the first thing you're gonna do is take a cardstock piece of paper and um, cut out a heart. I fold the paper in half just so that my heart looks even. And cut it like so. Had a lot of practice since I had kids. So this is my heart. How's that look? We're gonna put it in the middle. I'm gonna use tape, even though the pen doesn't suggest putting tape, it just says put it down. But um, I tend to move a lot, so I'm gonna put some tape on there. Uh, we're gonna put it right there in the center of our canvas, like so. Um, and then I chose paints that made kind of like a C color. And we're gonna just put a dot up there. Ooh, that's a lot. And we're gonna put another dot there. Oop. It's my first time, you guys. Hopefully I'll do this right. We're gonna do a dot here. New it needs to be unsealed. We're using acrylic paints for this. Like I use this, you see this, this wonderful um, diaper pad um, for all you moms out there. Now that my kids are older and aren't wearing diapers, I found a lot of use for these to like put under <laughs> projects such as this. You buy them on Amazon, you get like a hundred of them for like pretty cheap. I love them, I use them the entire time. The kids were pooping and peeing. Saves a lot of washing bed sheets. I'm gonna probably put another dot here. That makes sense, right? Gotta do all that on this side. Beep. All right. Probably enough of blue there. So we're gonna take a brush and we're gonna just start painting, painting. We're gonna make, gonna kind of blend them in together so they kind of make all those blues are really too close in color together. I'm gonna add a little white here just to break up some of the color. Like making gradient. And we're gonna blend in some green. They say even kids can do this, so that's a fun project to do with the kitties. If they can do it, we can do it, right, you guys? I should have used a second brush for the yellow. Although this is nice, it's like a yellowish green here on the bottom. I'm gonna add some yellow here on the bottom. I'm gonna use a different brush because that's probably what I should have done. We're all learning here. This is an educational video. I like the sponge brushes, but you know. These are fun too. It's not perfect, but that's the fun thing about this. It's a lot of blending. It's a lot of fun making sunsets. I use all my. Okay, and we're gonna let that dry and see how it comes out. Fingers crossed. Okay, our painting is now dry. It's, it turned out pretty, it turned out cool, right? It's kinda, it's like a summer day 
at night during sunset ish all right we're gonna take off the heart now i'm gonna take tweezers because it's probably easier this way let's see if it works yeah. i got some paper stuck on there see that's what the tweezers are for hey and prepared. Well, that's not gonna come off. Well, that's our heart. That's pretty cool, right? Now you can write a little message in there. You can cut out little other little things. You can add a little painting if you want right there in the center. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And I just put paint on it. That's good. I think that works. Um, you can get really creative. You can use tape, painter's tape. You can use all kinds of shapes. You can, you know, cut out your name and paint it this way too. But I thought I'd try it. I've seen so many other pens just like it. So I said, hey, why not? Let's just try one and see if it worked. And I think it worked. Pin trusted. Well, that's all we have for Pin Busters today. If you guys have any pins you'd like us to bust, please email us at bust at pinbusterstv.com or leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you guys real soon. I got paint. <laughs>